Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Eric, and in the past, I taught you about functions in C++. Now, in one of the few tutorials I've taught, I probably mentioned that functions can be separated into its own individual files. However, the reason I did not do that and I kept it all in one file is for the sake of screen recording and all that stuff, just to make things easier to navigate without having to switch screens all the time. However, that is not a good practice. So that's why in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how you could separate functions into their individual files in C++. Don't worry, it's really easy. Okay, so if we were to use our previous example, which is episode 32 on creating recursive functions in C++, we created a simple calculator to calculate the factorial of a number. Now, as you can see here, we have a factorial function of type double, which basically returns a data type of double. Now here you can see there are two functions inside the main.cpp file. There is the factorial function that we created on our own and there is the default main function that is required in all C++ programs. Now in order to separate our factorial function from the main.cpp file into its own file, this is what we have to do. First off, inside your source files folder, as you can see in the right column here, right click the source files folder, go to add new item and then select the C++ file which gives you a CPP extension. Now it is good practice to name your file the same as the name of your function. So in this case because our function is called the factorial function we'll call it factorial.cpp add. And now one more thing that we would have to create is inside the header files folder which you can see in the right column here right click it go to add new item. This time, instead of clicking the CPP option, you're going to choose the header file option, which has an extension of .h. Again, the same concept applies. Use the name of your function. So in this case, it's called factorial .h. Add. Okay, now if we're to go back to our main.cpp file, copy this, delete the code, and then go to your factorial.cpp and paste that code inside of it. Now, on top of the file, type in include aisle stream and using namespace std and then save. Okay, so as you can see, if we were to go back to our main.cpp file, it shows a red squiggly line under the factorial function call. So if we were to try and compile and run this program, it should not work. And as you can see, it says there are build errors. Now this has to do with the fact that because the function is no longer inside the mains.cpp file, however, it's still inside our project folder, but we haven't included the factorial function into our main.cpp file. So that means the program does not know where the factorial function is. So in order to include it into our main.cpp file, this is where the factorial.h file comes into play. Inside your factorial.h file, there should be something called pragma once automatically generated. If not, type it in. And then below it, inside the factorial.h file, type in your function's name and return type and any parameters that goes inside of it. So in this case, because our factorial function is called double factorial parentheses integer x, that's what we're going to be typing into our factorial.h header file. So type in double factorial parentheses and then inside int x and then end it off with a semicolon and then save the file, go back to your factorial.cpp and then underneath or above the IL stream, type in the line include and then in quotes, type in factorial.h. Save the file. Now go back to your main function and do the same. So type in include double quotes factorial h. Now, if we were to try and compile and run this program, it should work. And as you can see, the red squiggly line went away. So click yes to build it. As you can see, voila, the program runs successfully and it shows the result of 2.4329e plus 18. Perfect. So as you can see, that's how you separate your functions into their own individual files in C++. So as a quick refresher, before the function was in here, but ever since then, we moved it out, created a CPP file, as well as a corresponding header file. Inside the CPP file, add in your usual include files using namespace SED, 
followed by the function that you created. And then inside the header file, you type in the double factorial int x and then semicolon. And then inside both of your CPP file, remember to add the line to include your .h file that you created. And make sure the name is in double quotes instead of angle brackets. And then from there, if you were to try and compile and run this program, it will work perfectly. And that basically concludes our tutorial on how to separate functions into their own individual files in C++. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below if you are still confused on anything mentioned in this tutorial, and if you love this video series, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.